Hi, this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com, and in this video we're going to continue our series on switching from iOS to Android, specifically the OnePlus One from CyanogenMod. This video is going to be covering things that didn't go so well, things that are annoying, or things that we wish were just different. I'm going to jump right in by talking about the yellow banding issue. This phone has a very subtle uh, version of the yellow banding, and you may not even be able to see it in the video, but at the very bottom of the screen, right where that Wikipedia uh, logo is and, and below, there is a subtle color shift towards yellow, where at the top of the screen the color shift is more blue, at the bottom it's more yellow. It is very difficult to see unless it's a low light condition and a perfectly white screen. So uh, this is a late, or rather an early August or late July version of the phone and hopefully uh, represents what the future phones will look like or they'll even be better. I know that some of the early, early phones had a very serious uh, uh, yellow banding effect. I've seen some pictures that were pretty bad, but OnePlus also appears to be uh, offering returns for those phones. So, from a hardware standpoint, that's really the only thing that stuck out at me. I also, I wish that the volume rocker was a little bit thicker. It's hard to figure out where it is in my pocket, and it's in roughly the same position just on the back of the phone. So I've had some situations where I am hitting the uh, on-off button in my pocket instead of the volume rocker. And that brings up another point with volume, that uh, when you're using an Android phone, if you're coming from the Apple world, your three-button headsets are not going to work. In fact, uh, Whereas most Android phones will work with Android headsets, uh, the center button and the microphone usually work. In this case, on the OnePlus, only the center button works. I haven't found an Apple headset, either my Sony uh, three-button headset or the earbuds that came with my iPhone 5. Neither one works with a microphone, so that's disappointing. Now, what else isn't quite right or you might miss? I find that notifications are very different in Android than they were in iOS. This has always been a bit jarring for me. I really like the notification bar, or the notification drawer, however I miss the fact that when I was using an iPhone, no matter what application I was in, I would get the notification to come down from the top and it would tell me uh, what, what just happened. Uh, did I receive an email or a text, who's it from, and maybe even some of the message of the text. Um, now, fortunately, in Android, there are ways to add extensions or applications that will give you back some of that functionality, and we're going to cover that in our next video. Uh, ways to install or apps that are going to make the phone either more Apple-like or more to my liking. So, notifications are different and in some ways lacking, but in some ways uh, much, much better. So, it's a bit of a toss-up on notifications and comes down to a preference. Next thing is Hangouts. As good as Hangouts are, they are still different than iMessage. So you have to go and convince your friends to use Hangouts, which may not be the easiest thing in the world. So uh, just be aware of the difference and that you may have to convince your Apple friends to install another app on their phone. Or you can just use something like WhatsApp or any of the other uh, messaging, uh, cross-platform messaging systems out there. Finally, uh, well, we're still on topic of Hangouts. In my case, when I merged my Hangouts with my SMS, it didn't go so well. I'd already received probably a half a dozen texts from a few different people and a couple of voicemails in the messaging app. And when I tried to merge with Hangouts, uh, the phone left two messages in Messages and all the rest in Hangouts. And I kept getting a notification uh, down here that I had two unread messages. But everywhere else in the phone, I couldn't see that. So what I had to do to fix that, and apparently it's not totally an uncommon problem, I had to go into the settings, into apps, and I had to go whoop, all the way over to all, and then find the messaging app. And what I did was to force stop and disable it. And that uh, completely eliminated the uh, notifications. So if you do run into a problem merging your Hangouts and your messages, that's how you fix it. Next, when you look at this phone, it's, it's a big, beautiful screen, but there's an awful lot of uh, wasted space, I would say, with using these giant, uh, or rather, very large icons. In fact, you can only put four icons in a row. You can see here there's only four. And in my case, I would really like to see it uh, 
be something more like five. At the bottom, the app drawer has five, and if it uh, kept the uh, icon size a little bit more consistent all the way through, I think uh, it would be a better use of space. The icons, you know, in the video may not look so big, but they tend they, they actually look very big on the screen. Now again, there's a way to fix that. Uh, I'm going to cover Nova Launcher and possibly Apex Launcher in the uh, next video. Another thing that drove me absolutely crazy was sounds. I miss my Apple sounds, and I know how stupid that sounds, but you get accustomed to a certain double chime when you get a text or a, a certain noise when you get an email or from different accounts. Now fortunately in uh, Android, or at least CyanogenMod, it's very easy to change that. All you have to do is go into the media folder and you'll see audio and then notifications and inside this you can add custom notification sounds. So I added uh, some of the SMS sounds from my uh, from Apple. I downloaded a zip file that had some AUG files in it and you can hear the noises. So you know those are those are sounds that uh, you just become very accustomed to in the Apple world. So plug it into your uh, computer or download it from the web and unzip the file and just drop it into this folder, restart the phone, and all of a sudden now you can assign those same sounds to anything else in the, in the, uh, in the phone. So that was really, really useful. Now I also have used SwiftKey a lot in previous phones and I'm finding that uh, occasionally SwiftKey will open up and I'm not able to actually type anything, especially in password fields or, or fields inside of applications. So I don't know if that's an incompatibility with uh, CyanGen or just an Android problem, but I have had some keyboard glitches. And speaking of glitches, there was one other very strange glitch. When I first started using the phone inside the email application, and I don't think I've got it set up right now, but I found that uh, when I set it up initially, everything was fine, and then a day later, uh, I started noticing that whenever I received email from people uh, that had sent it from an iOS device, uh, I would only see vertical and horizontal lines. Uh, specifically, I would see the underline from uh, links in messages, but not the text of the link or the text of the message itself. And I could not figure out what was wrong. And it, what was weird is it happened in Gmail and in the email application, so two separate applications. Uh, I ended up removing and reinstalling the account uh, for my Outlook account and all of a sudden the problem went away. So clearly there was just some kind of glitch in the email and I've never seen it come back in the last week of usage. Now, switching over from uh, an iOS device, of course, Google has its own app store called the Google Play Store and it's pretty good. There's an awful lot of apps, but I find that uh, my iOS apps, I like the consistent pricing and I also felt like the apps in the Apple Store worked a little bit better most of the time. Uh, Android apps uh, tend to lag behind their iOS counterparts. Uh, many of the top name apps like Facebook or Flipboard or Yelp or some of these other apps that have lots and lots of users uh, are very good. In fact, some of them are better on Android than they were on iOS, especially with this giant screen. But many other apps uh, that might not have the development uh, resources to make two totally separate uh, app environments focus on iOS and the iOS experience is better. So that may be annoying for some things, but at the same time there are some excellent apps that really only work well on uh, a big Android phone. And finally, one other thing that I found trouble with on the OnePlus One, and this is specific to the OnePlus, uh, the proximity sensor didn't work consistently or still isn't working consistently. I'm finding that uh, if I accidentally turn the phone on in my pocket uh, there are some apps that I'm using that will lighten up the screen, but uh, should not light it up if the proximity sensor uh, senses that it's in your pocket and it's still turning on and not uh, obviously not working right. So uh, there's an update coming this week apparently that uh, may address some proximity sensor issues. So uh, it is still very early in the Cyanogen mod, uh, rather the life cycle of this version of CyanogenMod 11S. So hopefully that issue for me is resolved and I'll let you know what happens. But uh, those are the things that went wrong and that list is not very long. Uh, it comes down to missing some buttons on the headset, missing some sounds, but that's easily fixed. Not liking the initial layout, again that's easily fixed. I wish that they had the uh, uh, 
the uh, count of messages underneath things. So in the Apple world, you get that red dot that has the number in it and shows you how many unread emails you have. I do miss that as well, but again, with uh, some uh, different launchers, you can address that. So if there's one takeaway from the things that didn't go very well, it's that things in Android may be a bit more complicated, but typically there's two or three different solutions to your problem. And if you want to do something differently than how either Android or CyanogenE think that it should be done, there's often an app that's going to be able to uh, address that for you. Now, the quality of those apps may be questionable in some cases. Some of these systems extensions don't always work perfectly, but we'll cover that in our next video when we install things like Nova Launcher and uh, Nils and some other things that are going to give us more advanced notifications and all sorts of other fun things. So stay tuned, and uh, this is Mark with QuixVenture.com.